As 2023 is coming to an end, I think it's time we go over the top 10 best iRacing moments of the year. In today's video, we got everything from major crashes, tempers flaring, and drivers just being straight goofballs. So stay tuned because it's going to be a fun one. Kicking it off with number 10, I got the opportunity to go iRacing with the real Max Verstappen, the Formula 1 champion. And watch this because at Talladega, he went full on cold trickle mode, shot the gap, and somehow made it through this major crash with minor damage. Max Verstappen is one of the best talents in Formula 1, but also can be quite the weapon on iRacing. Skipping ahead to number 9, watch this as car number 19 is going to get turned at Atlanta. Now, this is a basic super speedway crash. These things happen. You know they're going to happen every time you go super speedway racing. But what car number 19 did after the yellow flag came out angered the entire field. He's going to pull right in the traffic. Boom, get hit there. And then he's going to stop, stand on the throttle, go the wrong way, and and Kapow wiped out a second competitor. You think he's done? He's still on the throttle trying to turn this thing around. He has already hit two. He's going for three. He's going to get hit a third time. He's not done yet because now he's going for four. When I say the entire field was mad at car number 19, I absolutely mean it. This is a rookie mistake that should not be made in any division. As we skip ahead to number eight on the list, watch this because Cobb Raider Cup is one of the funnest series on iRacing, but it's also one of the most dangerous we have just taken the white flag this is the final lap off turn number two i'm running in the fifth position car number four has been a bit of a menace so keep that in mind i'm gonna try to go high the four is gonna block it that's gonna open the door down low so i shoot to the bottom groove we're going into turn number three and four for the final time buckle up because this is going to be quite the showdown coming off turn number four the leader is sideways bump drafting is getting heavy the four is gonna shoot on three wide almost four wide hook the leader and now they're all crashing I shoot down to the bottom. I'm getting hit. We're all crashing. I'm in the grass and they all wrecked behind me as I'm cutting through the grass here. Everyone behind me is dead. They're all gone and it was an easy Talladega W. Martinsville is an easy track to block. In the Arca Division, it's the recipe for a disaster. Watch this because we're going to stack them in, wreck them up, and block the track at Martinsville. In Arca, there's no yellow flags, so there's no way of stopping this race. Cars are going to continue stacking in, and that's exactly what happened. The leaders are about to be coming back around, and this mess is still on the track, and there's nowhere to go. They're trying to sort it out, and boom, there went the leader. He just got taken out. There went second place. They're still stacking in. That 16 is trying to turn around and right here there went the fourth position another one just got wiped out nowhere to go they're still trying to get refired everyone's shooting all the way down to the bottom of the track trying to miss this but there's just nowhere to go if you think that's it Think again. Now, car number 17 has damage on his car. He can't make the turn. He's going to overshoot it. And this is going to continue the same wreck within the same lap. Stack up number two has begun. The tire is knocked off of the 17 car. There's not much he can really do here. As he's trying to back up, he's going to almost wipe out more competitors than he will. So now a major stack up has happened once again in turn number four. The 22 is trying to loop it around after getting hit. He stopped in the middle of the track. With all the chaos, we did pull off a few wins in 2000. 2023 one of the first ones happening in the rally cross division my first ever rally cross win came at my home track charlotte motor speedway and that was a fun one man i definitely need to do more rally cross racing on the channel it's one of the funnest divisions on this game so i do look forward to that more in the future but with every up there is a down I had to get some revenge on car number 10 because he's being a menace and wiping out his competitors behind me. As soon as he got to my rear bumper, this guy was ready to move me. He didn't even try to race me clean. He got there. This was his only attempt to pass me. He shot down to the bottom. Couldn't get it done. I fought back on the outside. We didn't make any contact there. But by the time we got to turn number one and two, this guy absolutely drove through me. I was furious, man. It takes a lot to get me mad. And that's something that triggered me pretty easily on that night at Bristol because he took out the eight car on his way up to get me. He took out the eight car just like that. By the time he got to me, he took me out, just held it wide open, didn't look for me, didn't try to get around me, just wiped me out of this thing. Obviously, that got me a little frustrated and a little heated and I was seeking revenge because of it. Skip into the white flag. You're gonna see him get to the back bumper of the leader. Now he is multiple laps down at this point. He's not racing the leader. He's up there wall riding and now he just jacked up the leader coming to the white flag. 
So I figured this is my opportunity. If I could get to him, this is my chance to try to do something. Obviously, I wasn't seeking revenge at the moment, but I got there and I tried my best to get to him and do what I could. So going down the back straight away, I knew there was one final shot. We're coming to the checkered flag. This is it. You don't see me do this too often, but I sent that baby in a turn number three and four, threw it in, went for his right side and just straight hooked him, man. I knew that was big. I knew that was big. I knew I screwed up instantly when it happened. Skipping ahead to number four on the list. This one is going to come at the iRacing Super Speedway. Now, anytime you go Super Speedway racing, you know you are in for one heck of a finish. And that's exactly what we got here in this one. I shoved the number one to the lead. He cleared the bottom. And now I'm hoping and praying for some help here behind me. I've fallen down to the fourth position. The 10's gonna jump out. I knew this was my opportunity. I shoved him. Big block by the one that killed the momentum on the bottom. Fortunately, the 10 did not jump down when he had the chance because I was giving him such a big push. I took that momentum, went to the bottom, got to his inside. Now we're side by side. Big contact in turn number three and four. I'm hoping I could just drag race on back to the line, but you never want to be up front on any super speedway because the momentum is just too big. So I'm eyeing the guys behind me, but at the flag, we pulled off the win. Number three on the list is going to be B-Class Racing at Daytona. This was also another exciting finish. As I'm running in the fifth position, things are going to get eventful here down the back straightaway because pay attention, we have been bump drafting so hard up front. The second position, position is actually going to blow his engine on the final lap, which is a heartbreaker because he was in the prime position to win this thing. You see him on the inside. His day is done. Put me up to the fourth position. Now, up front is all about who can block the most and who's going to get the run, who's going to get the momentum. We got a lap score on the bottom. We all had to go high. There is another lap score on the front straightaway. As I went down to the bottom, we're now three wide. I got shoved below the yellow line. Look out because the three's going to hit a lap score and wreck. We're three wide for the win. Unfortunately, it wasn't the win for me but it was definitely one very very exciting finish we're gonna watch a replay right here the 10 his engine blew there in turn number three the three car had the momentum he had the best shot at winning this thing and he did a heck of a job blocking the field he did everything he needed to do there was a lap score on the bottom shot around him okay i had a big shot of momentum try to go down and win it and it's with how big the blocks were they made contact the three nowhere to go man so unfortunate for him i didn't want to win this thing below the yellow line i tried to come back up i accidentally wrecked the number two car but hey it's set up for one very entertaining finish number two on the list was the national NASCAR iRacing Series at Indianapolis. Now, we are road course racing in this one. Look out because car number 32 proved he had a bit of a temper here in the closing laps. We are on the final lap. He tried to get around two positions at once. They overshoot it. Just a racing deal. Unfortunately, the 32 car got taken out. It was an aggressive pass he set up, and it just did not work out for him. Nobody's really to blame for that. He didn't lose that many positions, but it did take a hit. Post-race, car number 32 had it. His temper got the most out of him and landed him a nice protest because he went kaboom going in. Car number five completely eliminated him out of that event post-race with a heavy revenge. Finally, on the list is going to be the NIS race at Auto Club Speedway. I came in for tires. I was one of maybe three guys that had tires come the end of this event. But look how far I am back with 10 laps remaining. It's going to be hard to cut through this field. Time is going to be a factor, but I'm quickly gaining positions on the outside, bottom, wherever I can find grip. On new tires, it takes a couple laps for the tires to come in, and I'm not feeling the tires yet. But we are going to get a wreck on lap number 91 as the 25 car is going to go around down the front straightaway. We are going to keep it green and look out because I'm trying to make a pass on car number 18 now. We did not get a yellow flag for that crash, fortunately, and that gave me a little bit more time here as I'm cutting them three wide. But unfortunately for me, there's a big crash somehow we avoided that one as the one car nearly wiped me out and that's going to drop the yellow flag from auto club speedway as we got a major crash on the back straight away front so now taking the green flag of only four laps remaining you see i've worked my way all the way up to the 10th position but with only four laps man it's just not enough time i'm trying to get around the ninth position on the outside car number 28 and we're gonna start picking them up immediately right now with four laps remaining these tires are in prime position they are heated up they feel good they're grippy everyone in front of me have melted their tires i wanted to take them three wide there just couldn't take them three wide so i had to tuck in try to work them over one by one we got around car number four now i'm gonna head down to the bottom try and make easy work of that position and 
and that's gonna put me all the way up to the fifth position with only three laps remaining. As I built momentum, I knew I could potentially take fourth. He threw a big block on me. I did not want to waste any time because I knew if I got caught up racing with even one of these guys, it was game over for me. I'm now going for third. The leader is so far up there, man. I know I can't waste time. These guys are going to race the heck out of me as we're going to take over the third position and get around car number seven. At the line this time by, we're going to be taking only two laps remaining. So the clock is ticking. It's go time and it's time to do it now. We are now going for the second position. At this point, I feel like it's possible. I just know this car on the outside is not going to roll over for me. He proved it there that he's going to race me as hard as possible. I mean, this is the NIS division. We're almost 100 laps into this thing. Nobody's going to give you an inch. We are going to find a way all the way up to the second position there with two laps remaining. And that's going to give me a solid lap and a half. I'll go try to do something with the leader. Getting to him and getting around him are two very different things. So I knew it was going to be trouble no matter what. And if we got a yellow flag and went overtime, would that have been better or worse for me? As we're going to send it into turn number three and four, I had to eat into this gap right now. I couldn't afford to waste any time. I had to get to his rear bumper before we got to the white flag. We're coming up on it. One lap remaining from Auto Club. I knew this guy was going to block me. You see it there. He's not going to give me any lane choice. I'm going to have to go wherever he doesn't. So I'm not going to get the preferred line. I tried to take the outside from him. He wouldn't give it to me. So I went down to the bottom with the four new tires on the final lap. Fortunately, it was enough to pull off a slide job there, but not enough to make it stick how I wanted to, but we did clear him. Now the 14 is going to get some big momentum behind me. He's going to try to get to my inside, going into turn number three and four, and this race is not over yet. We're just trying to see who can get back to the flag in the first position. Car number 14 is going to throw it in deep. I just had to throttle up, and fortunately, with the tire grip and the tire wear, I was able to lead one lap in this event and win at Auto Club Fontana and get my second ever NIS series win. Hope you all enjoyed the highlights of the 2023 year. It was a heck of a year on the channel, a big year on the channel, and hey, we're gonna do it twice as hard next year in 2024. Before we end today's video, I'd like to thank my Patreon members who support the channel, and also my Patreon VIP members, my Tier 2 members, CHTV, Christian Elliott, DJ Suskima, Derek Dorsey, Tomater, Sanquist, Gregory, and Josh for all the support over on Patreon. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.